What you guys got another ransom wave removal video here for you. This one's a Spanish police ransom, and as you can see, they're asking for 50 euros. Now, this all translates in English, and I'll post this up on the screen now. So, basically, what they're asking for is 50 euros to release you from this ransom. Now, this is not the real police, so you shouldn't have to uh, worry. They're trying to scare people into paying for this to get it removed, okay? So, I'm going to show you how to remove this. Now, if you had Windows 7, the way to remove it is in safe mode with networking because this doesn't run in safe mode with networking in Windows 7. You can run malware bytes. But for Windows XP, it's slightly different. You're going to start getting blue screens and you can't do any safe mode at all. You're going to have to use a live CD. So let's reboot and have a look. Okay, so I'm in tapping F8 on my keyboard. And what I want to do here is try the safe mode, normal safe mode. And we had a blue screen. So let's try safe mode with networking. And as you can see, we've got another blue screen. Maybe command prompt will work. And we got another blue screen. Even this uh, last known good configuration, what happens here, it just boots the windows and you end up getting another ransom. So you really can't use this method at all, really. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get around this. We're going to use Hiram's Boot CD and boot into their uh, live uh, XP in there. So let's boot up to that. Okay, so what we want to do here for Hirons, I just want to boot into the Mini XP, load this up, okay so we're now at the uh, desktop here of our live CD so what we want to do here is go to the my computer and look for the drive that's infected and that's the C drive in this case I'm going to go inside here and we want to go to documents and settings and then the account that's infected which is Brytec and we want to go desktop and there's the culprit. That's because I activated this on the desktop and that's where the file was. So depending on where you've done this, then that's where you'll need to remove it. Now if you was in Windows 7 and you wanted to do it manually, it's in the roaming folder. There's a file that's hidden there and you'd have to show um, Windows uh, operating system files and there's a file in there and there's also one if you had it on the desktop. You need to remove both of those if you're going to do it manually. Okay, So I'm going to remove this and then reboot the system. Okay, you're going to see an error message like this, well, window like this, and that's because the Windows has crashed. So we're just going to push Start Windows normally. And we should be able to get to the desktop. And there you go. So that's that one solved for XP. So as you can see, two different scenarios there for XP and Windows 7. Windows 7 is a lot more easier to remove, but Windows XP, you're going to have problems. So if you do got XP, follow this video and you should be back up and running. Okay, so I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and share your support. And also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.